Greetings whiskey fans, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm your host Mark and this is whiskey review number 99. Um, today we're going to be looking at a, uh, well, a very, I guess we'll call it a famous whiskey brand. It's famous for uh, being basically the, uh, the, the, the peatiest whiskey or one of the peatiest whiskeys outside of Isla. And this is known as the Ardmore. The Ardmore, uh, this is um, a brand that is owned by, uh, I believe it's WM Teachers and Sons, which in turn is owned by Beam Suntory. Beam, the Jim Beam, and Suntory, uh, the uh, Yamazaki Suntory, and the Beer uh, Suntory. So that's a big, huge uh, merger that happened uh, not too long ago. Anyway, so uh, the Ardmore. Uh, was very famous for its, um, I guess it was called the traditional cask, uh, which has been changed into the traditional, I believe it's just called traditional. And um, uh, this one is something that I picked up at Duty Free. Uh, so it's nice it's that it, it's a, a liter instead of uh, seven or 750. And um, it's 46% ABV and it is not chill filtered. It is non-chill filtered. Uh, they say that it's barrier filtered, and that's just to get out the little pieces of char or pieces of oak uh, that uh, happen to be uh, uh, floating in the cask. Okay, um, let's get some poured. Nearly a full bottle. I'm going to take this one back to Seoul with me. There we go. Yep, that's a nice pour. Um, very nice bottle. I love the style. Uh, I like the, the, the copper eagle that you've got there. And I forget the story about the eagle. Um, I'm sure someone knows. If you do know, let me know. Put that in the comment, please. Thank you. Okay, so uh, while we're waiting for that to uh, do a little bit of uh, breathing, let's talk about uh, the distillery. So, it's a very large distillery, in fact five and a half million liters of alcohol per year liters of pure alcohol per year so that's huge they have four wash and four spirit stills so eight stills very large still room and I wish I had my pictures to show you uh, they're all lined up in a row and uh, it's quite the scene uh, this was built by Adam teacher who was William teachers son and it was built expressly for uh, the Teacher's Highland Cream Blend. So the reason this whiskey distillery came into being uh, was to provide uh, a peated malt for the blend. I have yet to try Teacher's Highland Cream. They've got it here, it's a very reasonable price. Um, I'll have to pick one up at some point. I'm not sure if that'll be uh, uh, this time around or maybe another year. Anyway. Uh, it's located in, in, in Aberdeenshire, in the farmland of uh, the Geary. So it's interesting. Must not be very far from Glen, uh, uh, Glen Geary, another distillery. Shouldn't talk about that while I'm reviewing this one. But anyway, um, they had their own maltings until the 70s. They had their own cooperage until the 80s. And uh, the distillery was coal-fired. Uh, the stills were coal-fired until 2001. Uh, so since then they've probably uh, gone with normal uh, steam uh, steam heat uh, to heat the um, uh, the wash inside the stills. Okay. Anyway, there's probably a lot more to this uh, distillery than I found online with the, the limited time that I have to take away from my family while I'm here. <coughs> if you know anything interesting, interesting stories about the Ardmore or about the distillery, that would be really cool. Um, the, uh, I think I forgot to write that down. Uh, oh dear, oh yes. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the uh, distillery manager. His name is Alistair, and his last name, um, it uh, is eluding me anyway. Uh, Alistair, a fairly young man, I'd say, and um, uh, everybody seems to love having their picture taken with him. That's all I could find online with pictures of him with uh, uh, with uh, fans. Um, okay, anyway, let's get on to the Ardmore Triplewood. This is Triplewood, by the way. 
and uh, we'll get on to the nosing and the tasting. Triple wood, um, first of all, there are three cask types involved. American oak barrels, okay, and those are likely ex-bourbon barrels. Uh, secondly, quarter casks. Now, quarter casks, um, I wonder if they would all almost be, uh, be fresh. In other words, unused casks. And those could be European oak, um, probably likely American, uh, European oak, I should say. So they may have had some kind of uh, wine or sherry in them. And then lastly, uh, puncheons. And these were also likely um, uh, sherry oak, I would imagine. Uh, they don't use puncheons in the U.S., at least not traditionally, anyway. Okay, so we'll get on to the nosing and the tasting. Before that, there'll be a short advertisement right here. Okay, welcome back. Ardmore Triple Wood, 46%. It's non-chill filtered. Let's get on to the nose. Now, it's peated. On the nose, the peat's a little bit mellow. Um, so, probably, uh, if I were to hazard a guess, 20 ppm for the phenol count. But it's deceiving, because it's bigger on the palate. Anyway, uh, the nose is very sweet. And um, it's also a bit spicy. Something kind of like raisin cinnamon buns uh, with icing sugar, with icing, uh, iced iced raisin cinnamon buns also some baking spices so your generic um, nutmegs and cinnamons and maybe ginger it's very nice with time which we don't have here on uh, on camera with time I find there's a bit of a cherry note coming through something like a cherry crumble pie and um, uh, that cherry crumble pie having been made with lots of butter. Okay, on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. It's sweet, slightly sour, a little bit dry. Uh, the peat makes itself known. It really asserts itself on the palate. Um, Flavor-wise, I'm getting some ripe pears, um, and those pears are almost, um, uh, they, some of them could be poached even, and maybe even done as a flambe. Um, so again, a little bit of caramelization happening to those uh, uh, poached pears. Maybe some apple as well. The finish, however, I'm getting a lot of peat. Quite smoky on the finish. It's also quite sweet. And then I'm getting um, some vanilla and also some cherries coming through. So very interesting. Okay, let's add some water there. Uh, we can safely add, again, a little less than half a teaspoon. go let that mix let it meld beautiful day today hardly uh, any wind at all uh, absolutely blue skies not a cloud to see the worst thing about um, being outside in Winnipeg this time of year at the uh, in the middle of August are uh, the wasps they come out and uh, terrorize all of the, the people in Winnipeg. Well, <laughs> uh, maybe that's a little tasteless given the, uh, the age we live in. Anyway, they come out and bother uh, people on picnics and uh, out on patios having dinner. It's a shame. I wonder what eats wasps. Hmm. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Sorry about the noise here, that's the air conditioning kicking in. 
Okay, before we get on to that one, there'll be another short advertisement right there. Welcome back onto Ardmore Triple Wood with a little bit of water added. Now, let's see how that uh, uh, features. Interestingly, the peat is a little more prominent with uh, with water added, but it's a um, you know it's a highland peat. It's herbal. It's grassy. It's uh, um, doesn't have the um, uh, medicinal or the maritime kind of flavors that um, the Isla peat does. Um, and I've written here sandalwood, some church incense, wood smoke. The sweetness remains and cri uh, crisp ripe apple begins to come out. Mm-hmm. And um, apples that have been fried with butter and salt. So a touch of saltiness there, not much though. Okay, how about the palate? Cheers again. It gets very apple-y. Apple really asserts itself. The peat is still going strong. Uh, not so dry now and um, still a touch of spice a little bit of pepper and some vanilla there finish wise largely the same there's a real undercurrent of peat but it's mostly a sweet apple, pear, I guess those um, kinds of orchard fruits, apple, pear flavors that are remaining. Hmm. Still some cherries there too, which may be the, uh, the sherry wood coming through. Okay, very nice. Uh, so, Let's get on to the scoring for the Ardmore Triple Wood. What is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score going to be? It's going to be 90 out of 100. 90 out of 100, that is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for the Ardmore Triple Wood. That is called Triple Wood, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, and I've written here, possibly the best Petey Highlander out there. And uh, no nickname, but this is kind of like if you want to, if I want to sum up the flavors in uh, the smallest amount of words possible I'll write down a smoked fruit pie okay so a smoked fruit pie with uh, cherries apples pears in there anyway okay so 90 out of a hundred uh, very very great great value the best thing that I haven't mentioned yet is the price this is unbelievably inexpensive and um, uh, fantastic thank you to WM teacher uh, teachers and son teachers and son yep teacher and WM teacher and sons <laughs> and also to uh, beam Suntory for keeping that very very reasonable and very very delicious okay so that's it for me here uh, thanks for tuning in don't forget to click the link there to subscribe if you haven't and um, like the video and share it with anyone, uh, peat lovers, uh, they'll enjoy that. And also people who are um, interested in something that's not quite so strongly peated. My mother actually didn't mind this um, and she would turn her nose up at uh, uh, the peatier uh, whiskeys out there. So, okay, uh, take care all and we'll see you for whiskey review number 100, which is just around the corner. Goodbye.